the diagram okay, where someone had a mix and they put this in and we're going to take from this one mill from here and we're going to get nine mils of water. It's going to be our uh, D went here to dilute this. And so our final volume in this instance is going to be 10 mils total. Now, nothing hard about that. Pretty straightforward. But how do folks describe it? And on that lab, we have a multitude of it. Some folks might say one mil to 10 mils, right? They're looking at this in terms of what the total is. One mil out of the total, so one mil is taken up to 10 mils. They're saying that the final is going to be 10, right? And, you know, another person might say one to nine, right? Because that's what, up here, we got one mil and nine mils. So they're looking at the parts, one plus nine. OK, so two people describing this one situation differently. Another way would be one in 10. Right? There again, they're looking at the total. One into a total of 10. All right? You may see this colon symbol. So they may say this is a 1 to 10 dilution. All right? Same thing. They're saying, once again, the total, one, they look at the uh, colon again as of. Oh, so they're thinking one of ten. Another person using colon nomenclature, they look at it one plus nine. Right? Because they're looking at the parts. The person said one colon ten. And this is, these colon are fairly common um, ways of discussing things. So um, you have to be careful. Another and one we're going to be using principally is this where we say a one-tenth dilution. So it again is in essence same one of ten, but that our starting material the one mil is a tenth of the total volume. Right? So there, in our one mil is a tenth of the total volume. So there again, that's looking at the total. Um, another will be tenfold. Right? Tenfold. That means that this final 10 mils is 10 times the what you're diluting, right? So the 10 mils is 10 times the one mil, right? So we say that's a tenfold or other say and call that a 10x for the same reason. It's 10 times diluted. So it's now essentially one tenth, right? Um, what its um, starting concentration was because we now have a, a tenfold, it will a tenfold increase or a 10x final volume. So, you know, it's, you know, you know, pay attention to what the instructions are saying so um, um, that you know. What we'll be using um, in our labs typically would be if we were saying, in this case, one part stock or one mil of stock to nine mils of water 
right? So we're going to say one meal okay okay of the ten males right being the total volume is one tenth now when we see this colon symbol we're going to use it as the one plus nine all right, so we say one part of our um, stock plus nine parts um, the what we'll call this the diluent, right? The solvent that we're adding, in this case water, we refer to as the diluent, right? Um, and so. That, so often we see these parts um, in multiple configurations. So we might have one part, three parts, the four parts. So we may actually have solutions that have multiple components. So they would be one part. Now, in terms of dilutions, right? This is this is a term that we use solutions, but it's still parts one plus three plus four. So when we see the colon in our lab, we're going to treat it as a one plus nine. And um, we're going to talk about um, our dilutions in typically one-tenth type fractional thing, or we may say tenfold. And we'll talk about the use of tenfold in just a minute when we talk about different types of dilutions. So let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about different types of dilutions. Um, 